Hi class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about special right triangles. So let's start with the first one. The first one is going to be our 30, 60, 90 triangle. And this triangle is formed when we take a line of symmetry on an equilateral triangle. So if we think about an equilateral triangle, we know that all three angles are 60 degrees and all three sides are the same. And let me just put a value to those. Let's make it, oh, I don't know, 10. 10, 10, and 10. So if I take a line of symmetry down in an equilateral triangle, if you notice, it splits a couple things in half. It splits that top angle in half, making that 30 degrees, but it also splits this bottom side in half, making that five. So if we look at our 30, 60, uh, 30, 60, 90 special right triangle, that bottom side next to the 60 degrees that wasn't split, that's gonna be half of the hypotenuse. And it's going to be like that every single time. So um, here the shorter leg is always opposite the 30 degree angle. So remember we have those relationships also in a triangle where the smallest leg or the smallest side is always across from the smallest angle. The longer leg is always um, across from the 60 degree angle and the hypotenuse is always across from the 90 degree angle. All right, um, now in our special right triangle, like I said, we have this relationship between the sides. So here, if we look, if this side across from the 30 degrees is x, let's name it x, then our hypotenuse is going to be 2 times that x value. And you can see that with my example where that hypotenuse is still 10, but the side next to the 60 degrees is now only 5. We split it in half. Now the other leg we could find using the Pythagorean theorem since it's a right triangle, but the point of learning these special right triangles is so that we don't have to use the Pythagorean theorem in these cases, we can use a shortcut. And our shortcut for this triangle is that this side is whatever x is times the square root of three. And we'll see in a couple, uh, in a couple minutes that example there. All right, the next special right triangle is our 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. So here it's formed by drawing a line of symmetry on a square. So if we look at this square over here, well, I know that these are all 90 degrees if it's a square and all the sides are the same length. Let's just use 10 again for our example. Now if I take and I split here as my line of symmetry through those angles. Now I've split these angles in half, creating 45 and 45. But if you notice, the two legs are still 10. If we look at just that right triangle here, this leg and this leg haven't changed size. So in our 45, 45, 90 triangle, if we look and one of our legs is x, the other leg is also x because we've got an isosceles triangle, it was part of a square, so those legs didn't change. Now, again, we could use Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse, but the really cool thing about these special right triangles is they give us a shortcut. If I use the Pythagorean theorem and work it all out, we will see that this hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 triangle is always x times the square root of two. All right, um, here observations for our, our 45, 45, 90 triangle is that our triangle is always isosceles. The hypotenuse is the largest value and it's always opposite the right angle, of course. And let's look at some examples. So we're going to use our patterns that we just learned from these two special right triangles and apply them to the problems to find the missing lengths. So if we look at this first one, we have a, oops, my numbers got all messed up. Ignore that four right there. All right, here we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and we can fill in the other angle if that helps you a little bit. If we look back up to our rule, the side next to 60 degrees is where our x side is. That's where we start, that's our x. 
So here, this is going to be x. Our hypotenuse is always 2x, and the other side is x root 3. Now, I know this might get a little confusing because there's already an x in the problem. So if you wanted to use a different letter, you could do that too. Instead, we could use, well, let me, let me use a red pen. Let's use w. So this is going to be my w. This is 2 times w, and this is going to be w times the square root of 3. So now let's plug those values in. If w is 5, then the x in our problem, the hypotenuse, is going to be 2 times 5, so x is going to be 10. And then y is going to be 5 times the square root of 3, which we can't simplify, so we're done. And we've solved number 1. All right, number 2, we have another 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's put those letters on the sides again, just, to, just while we're trying to get used to our pattern here. So next to 60 is our, I'm going to use W again, because sometimes it's less confusing if we don't have a bunch of X's. And then our hypotenuse is 2 times that W, and this is going to be W root 3. All right, so let's look at what we're given. We know that 2 root 3 corresponds to W root 3, which means W has to equal 2. So in this problem, that means X is going to be 2, and Y is 2 times 2, which is 4. All right, and that's it. So these problems, when you get used to our patterns, and they're going to get a little more difficult, but when you get used to the patterns and really understand what's going on, the problems go pretty quickly. All right, um, let's look at number three. So again, we have another 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So let's put our pattern there. Next to 60 is our first one, our W. 2W is our hypotenuse, and W root 3 is our other leg. So now we're given the hypotenuse is the square root of 30, but that corresponds to 2w. So now what we're going to do is we're going to form a little equation. 2w equals the square root of 30. <clears throat> now let's solve for w, and then we can find the other sides. So if I divide by 2, w is going to be root 30 over 2. And remember, we can't simplify that because 2 is not in the square root. So that means that x in my problem is going to be the square root of 30 over 2, and y is going to be the square root of 30 over 2 times the square root of 3, because our y side is whatever w is times the square root of 3. We can simplify this. Um, 30 and 3 make 90, which makes 3 root 10 over 2. All right, simplifying our radicals. So there are a few examples there. We've got a few more we'll do really quick. So here we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle again. Let's put our pattern on the side. So we've got W, 2W, and W root 3. Paid really close attention when they start flipping these triangles around to which side is your hypotenuse and make sure that's your 2W for this type of triangle. All right, so let's see, we've got 30 equals w root 3. So we have to make another equation to figure out what w is in this case. Now this one's a little more difficult. We're going to divide by the square root of 3. And there's a couple different ways we can do this, but this is where I'm going to go with it. And then we have to rationalize our denominator. We're not allowed to leave a square root in the denominator. So 30 over the square root of 3. Let's multiply that by root 3 over root 3. We get 30 times the square root of 3 over 3, which reduces to 10 root 3. So a little bit of algebra that we had to do in this problem, but that's okay. We figured out what w is, which means that's going to be my x value, because in this case, x is w. And y is 2 times 10 root 3, which would be 20 times the square root of 3. So there's my x and my y for that problem. All right, that should cover pretty much all the examples you'll see with a 30, 60, 90 triangle. I don't think it gets much more difficult than that. Uh, all right, well, let's look at our last two examples. Now, if you notice, they don't give us any angles, but they tell us that it's isosceles. If those two sides are the same, it has to be a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So we can apply our pattern. Let's look back up our pattern is x, x, and x root 2. So again, because we have an x here, I'm going to use my w. w, w, and w root 2. 
So if w is 3, then this side has to be 3 times the square root of 2. All right. And now we're done. And then um, kind of going backwards, again, we've got w, w, and w root 2. So in this case, we're going to have to make another equation to figure out what w is. So w square root of 2 equals the square root of 6. We're going to do a little bit of algebra and divide. Now, because they're both under the square root, we can divide 6 and 2 and make w equal the square root of 3, which happens to be what our x value is. So x is the square root of 3. All right, and that concludes our lesson on special right triangles. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.